Peace. Slide that over, get that little glare out the way. What's good, y'all? It's Ravioli, I see you. As usual, appreciate you. I know you sent me a message on Patreon. I actually didn't get to read it yet, but I'll check it out. What's good, family? I know we here early. We got a special guest from across the pond. We had to coordinate these times to get it popping, popping, popping. What's good, y'all? Make sure you click that like button upon entering. Click that share button, share this with somebody. You about to get some great information today. A lot of this might be some shit you don't want to hear, <laughs> but you need to hear it. God damn it. Yep, 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 yep. No, we're not talking about the fake smack heard around the world. We're talking about some shit that can actually help you today. Oh, yeah. Click that like button and click that share button. Y'all get up in here. about to do it like what's good y'all welcome back to the godcast i am lord jamar shout out to digger digger shout out to godfrey Audie stidax i knew they wasn't gonna be ready for no early shit like this so i ain't even <laughs> i ain't even try to hit them for this shit right here but that's okay because I'm going to hold it down. We got, uh, man, I think this is going to be a great one. Um, For some, it's going to be a shock to the system, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, you need that sometimes, you know, to, to, to get shit back, you know, going, shock the system and wake shit up. You know what I mean? Wake you up out of your sleep. Uh, so yeah, I got put on to this brother, man, just from IG, man. I'm not even sure how his, his videos started coming across my desk, but they did. And, uh, they immediately resonated with me, uh, saw the value in them. Um, I said, man, this is a smart young dude, you know, and he's from, you know, He's he's from uh he's from England. You know, he's obviously from across the pond, as they would say. Um, and I don't know, I just thought that was dope. Uh a lot of times here in America, you know, we feel like it has to be someone American bringing you the information, you know. Um, and there's knowledge and value all over this planet Earth brought to us by original people all over this planet Earth. So I just thought, you know, and just his approach is just something that I feel uh, just would resonate with those that that know, you know what I mean? Those that are tuned into the proper frequencies. So, you know, he hurt my heart with some certain things he was saying. You know, like you think you eating right and all that. And then you find out that, oh, shit, that's some bullshit, too. Like, like the lies go deep. You know what I mean? So we're going to get into it. Um, Man, with no further ado, I think that's his wife in the chat. She said this is going to be a great one. Yes. Um, Anyway, 
With no further ado, I want to bring my brother from Eat to Live, Not to Die. Brothers and sisters, welcome my brother, E. Kong, to the Godcast. Thank you. Peace, E. Kong. Peace, peace, brother. How you, God? I'm as good as can be. I'll complain. It's great to have you here. Um, matter of fact, hang on. What is your, uh, oh, matter of fact, I know what your goddamn IG is. It's eat to live, not to die, correct? Correct. Okay. To live, not to die. Um, IG. So y'all go follow him right now, first of all. Um, if you're not already following him, catch up with his videos. Uh, we have a link in the description, you know, to his store and to his products. Uh, so, you know, make sure you click that as well as we are uh, going through this discussion. So anyway. Yeah. Nutrition. Nutrition. Especially concerning us as original people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, let's first start, let's let's get into how did you get into, how did you start your journey on, you know, into nutrition? How long have you been on this journey? And, and who are some of your influences? Okay, um, started my journey at the age of 23. I am 32 now and really and truly came about, I had a couple of ailments that I wanted to get rid of. And would you like to share what those were? Diabetes. Mm. So my father still has it to this day. Um, so people would say, oh, th those type of things run in the family. But the only thing that runs in the family is the foods that the family eats, right? So I quickly, you know, did some research to try and find some ways, natural ways, because I was always, I've always gravitated towards nature and things that are natural. Did my research, um, came across Dr. Sebi. And the first time I saw one of his videos, am I allowed to swear on this? What's that? Am I allowed to swear? Fuck yeah. Come right. on, shout out to Dr. Sebi. All right, so that's it. That's it. So as, soon as, <laughs> as soon as I saw, as soon as I listened to the, f I think ten minutes of Doctor Sebi speaking, I was like, "Fuck that, man! Fuck Doctor Sebi! I don't know what he's talking about. What does he mean? No meat? What does he mean? No this? He's talking about things that I've been growing up on all my life. Mm. I didn't gravitate to Doctor Sebi the first mm -hmm. moment I heard him. Mm -hmm. And then a year after I had rejected it. Someone came to me with it again and then again and then again. So I looked into it again a year later. And I said, okay, okay, it's 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 getting in now. I'm I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. Because I think the first time I heard it, I think it was a bit of fear that didn't allow me to accept the information. And you know, the certain things he was saying, if they were true, he's basically saying that my people have given themselves a death sentence. Mm. So what were some of these things that you were hearing that, that like, if they were true, what were some of those things that he was saying? He said, ever since they took us from Africa, all they've been feeding us is blood and starch. Mm. And I really took time to deep what he was saying, blood and starch. So basically all their natural foods is the starch, and the blood is the meat. So all mm. they've been giving us ever since we were captured was blood and starch. So, and I'm I'm from Nigeria originally. Mm. Well, my, my father's Cameroon, my mother's Nigeria, but I gravitate more to the, my, my Nigerian side because I've been there. I haven't been to Cameroon. Yeah, um, I've been to Lagos and Port Harcourt. Okay, I'm from West Africa, uh, mm. Cross River State, um, Calabar, for anybody um, that want to know. So... We eat as a staple food in Africa, period. Not just where I'm from, in Africa, period. Even in Brazil, Central America. Cassava. Mm. Okay, cassava. 
cassava is one of the most deadliest foods that you could put in your mouth today. Wow. Now, hang on. I wish I had like some sort of explosion because I think a lot of people would think cassava is a healthy fucking food, is a good food for you. So tell us about cassava. What is what is what is so bad about cassava? I'm sure it's going to be the starch, but let's yeah. What's what's wrong with cassava? Cassava. Now why do we think it's healthy? Because it's all we've been given since, since this what six hundred years now since we've been captured and ever since we were captured, bro. They didn't know what to feed us, so they had to create something that could feed us, and it had to be quick to create as well. They say cassava was made by the Portuguese. And it's a, it's like a, it looks like a, it looks ugly when you open it. It's white inside, mm. okay. And that, when you, that, that's a bad sign already. God damn it! Really? <laughs> In nature, when something is white, oh shit! You, don't want guy, you know it ain't good for you. God damn white rice, white white fucking sugar, white flour. Cut no, that no, open. No. It's white inside. Uh oh. But anyway, so the scary part is when you put cassava in a juicer and you juice it and you give a hog, that's a pig, right? You mm -hmm. Give a hog that juice to drink. That hog is going to drop dead where it stands. Bomba cleat. What? Period. 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 From cassava why, juice. From cassava juice. Cassava juice is the highest concentration of cyanide on the planet. And, and Africans and Central Americans, most, pe most people of African descent in the world, they eat that every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm. Even if you go to a five-star hotel in Costa Rica, they'll give you a very beautiful plate of cassava and they'll make you pay hundreds of pounds, dollars for that or pounds for that. It's crazy. Some people are saying yam is white. Coconut is white. Is, is coconut okay? Coconut's good. The, the mature coconut, the inside of the mature coconut, that's good. Um, the yam, that's dead. That's garbage. Mm. No Anything that contains starch, period, is not good for you. And Mother Nature did not create anything that contains starch. However, there are things today that they have created or duplicated that, is, that exists in Mother Nature that contains starch right now. So I'll give you an example, right? All quinoa is not the same. Mm. All spelt is not the same. What is spelt? I've never even heard of spelt. Spelt is a grain, a rice replacement. There are many different rice replacements on the planet Earth. Now, first of all, when I first got to uh, Nigeria, as soon as we got off the plane, they give us jollof rice. Jollof rice. Yeah. Starch. Starch, definitely. That will, that will bloat you up. <laughs> and it was hot as a motherfucker. That shit was hot as a bitch. Um, I know people are probably saying to themselves, so what do I eat? I'm going to give you a replacement because I like to give you the problem. Right. And then I have to give you the solution straight after. So you don't. Because a lot up. of people is going to feel by the end of this. Well, exactly. Well, goddamn, what's left to eat? He's telling me all these things I can't eat. And there's, there's a longer list than this. Uh, yeah. We're going to get into some things. Uh, yeah. This is called phonio. Mm, I've heard of, yeah. uh, I've heard of this. Phonio. Fonio is delicious and nutritious. This is what you can you choose to replace not only your rice, you can also replace your cassava for this as well. How cassava is prepared in most countries is they add hot water to it and they begin to mix it and it turns into this big starch mush, like a big starch ball. And then they dip that into some soup or stews and they swallow it right that that's generally how it's consumed you can use fonio to do exactly the same thing all right not only that it's extremely versatile so you can turn this as essentially into a rice as well so fonio can be prepared the same way africans like to eat their um cassava or fufu and you can also cook it in a way where it will come out Kind of like couscous, individual grains. 
Mm. Like rice. So I would advise a lot of people to start eating that because that's natural. Now, can I get this fonio in my fucking supermarket? Yes, you can. 100 percent. Whole okay. foods have got it, I believe. Um, there so are you many go to special because a lot of people want to do the least they can do instead of the most they can do. So they want to be able to go to their regular supermarket and see Fonio there. So would would you see it in a regular supermarket or it has got to be a specialty type of supermarket? I've, I feel it would have to be a little bit of a special supermarket. To okay. But I, I advise more people to try and shop for these types of things online. Right. Well, also, people, if you go... If you go to your supermarket and they don't have something, if you ask for it and you keep causing a demand for it, they will put the shit in there. Like, exactly. man, these motherfuckers keep asking for phone, yo. Let me see what the fuck that shit is. Like, and so, yes. That's so exactly. we can make that happen too um, if you can't find it in your local thing. But yes, it takes some discipline when we're going to get to that too because that's a whole uh, fundamental factor in this whole equation that we're talking about when it comes to trying to get your health right and is discipline but we'll get to that a little later so fonio is an alternative i like that that's a grain starch starch alternative starch free alternative there's another starch free alternative right but it replaces starch as far as the texture and all of that yes yes 100% like in your mind that would be a replacement for you Yes, 100%. And okay. there are other grains such as um, kamut, quinoa, rye, teff, and amaranth. Those are also some grains that you can choose to replace your rice with. Because I know that many of us love rice. How many times do we eat rice per week? You know? Right. So and especially eat, white rice people are eating. Especially white rice. And that's going to clog you the hell up. You don't want that. That will bind you, okay? So what 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 kind of wild rice? Wild rice good? Wild, wild rice is the only rice I would recommend anyone to be eating right now. I don't I don't um it it there's no point even me telling you all the names. I'm saying there's no rice. I don't <laughs> care what color it is, red, yellow, purple. Blue. Right. There's no rice. That they have created that will help you the one rice that mother nature grows by herself without the aid of a man woman or child is called wild rice a lot of caribbeans have seen it they it grows like a like a tall grass and it grows in the swampy areas and because of that and also because it's black as well a lot of people run from it they don't want it mm. um, they're used to the white rice and they don't like the black rice um don't mistake in wild rice for um, black rice, please. Black rice was created by the Chinese. That's another finesse. Um, the black rice is garbage. The wild rice is natural. Who are these fucking mad scientists, man, that have come up with all these hybrid vegetables and like, like, you see what I'm saying? The nigga creating rice. Like, that's no good for you. Why? Like, like, what's wrong with these? Like, they hate why. nature so much, God, that it's like, yep. they're, they're literally, and they've been doing this since back in the days. Like, yep. I, this is some mad scientist shit, bro. Yeah, 100%. And, and you know why they're doing it, though. They don't want us to be at our highest. Mm, tell they them. want us to, everything starts from the brain. Once your brain is compromised, you can't think, period. And what nourishes your brain? Oxygen. Without oxygen, you're dead, period. So if oxygen is the food for the brain, right, then... If we're consuming foods every day that robs us of oxygen, what's happening to the brain? We have to think about these things. We have to think about these things. So our full potential, our highest potential is lowered just by the foods you put into your mouth. We haven't spoke about what you believe in. We haven't spoke about your outlook on life. We haven't spoke about, you know, how you grew. We're not talking about any of that right now. I'm not saying they're not 
a factor. But what you put into your mouth on a daily basis will affect, will affect your thinking, the mm. way you think, the way you rationalize. Okay, it compromises the hippocampus area of the of the brain and the hypothalamus area of the brain. These are parts of the brain that allows you to reason. These are the parts of the brain that when you get angry, you don't just shoot a person in their face or stab them. You think about what you're doing first. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So all of these foods destroy all of these areas of the brain that allows us to become our highest self when it comes to doing and thinking and speaking. Let's talk about some more common vegetables uh, like carrots and broccoli and cauliflower, like especially here in America, those are things that we believe are good for us, that these things are, you know, healthy. And you got motherfuckers drinking broccoli shakes and kale and all this other type of shit. Tell us about the misconception, even things like garlic. <laughs> Let's get into wow. some of all this miseducation surrounding a lot of these fucking foods because I was I've been duped on a lot of this shit. Like I thought everything on the list I thought was was healthy. I just had somebody bragging to me, my man talking about, oh yeah, I just made a cauliflower mash potatoes. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, cauliflower is some bullshit. Like, you need to leave that shit alone, bruh. Like, um, yeah, man. So talk to me about some of those foods because, you know, cassava is more, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like some Jamaican, you know, is a more. But yeah. here in America, all the shits that I just named, people's like, what? Carrots? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Okay. So, so, okay, let me, let me tell you this. Carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, celery, asparagus. Garbage. Uh, asparagus too. All, gar all garbage, all garbage. So the reason why these things are garbage, and out of everything that I mentioned there, carrots is the worst. Mm. Carrots are the absolute worst. Carrots was was never has never been real. A lot of people like to say, oh, the purple one, oh, the orange one, oh, this one, oh, that. No, none of the carrots are real. To create a carrot, you need two plants. One of them is called the Queen Anne's Lace. And the second one is called the wild yam. You have to do a process called splicing, genetic splicing. You combine like them grafting. both. Yeah, grafting, mm -hmm. exactly. And then when you graft them both, the queen Anne's lace is not produced. The wild yam is not produced. A carrot is produced. Mm. So when you eat this carrot now, what happens to you? You start to clog up your capillaries, your arteries, and your veins, okay, because it contains starch. How can you see the starch? Is it possible to see carrot starch? Yes. All you have to do is run about, run about six carrots in the juicer. And you see all that fucking shit that gathers. That's it, my brother. That's After only about, shit. Leave it on the windowsill, I would recommend, for about two hours, three hours. All that shit at the bottom of the, of the cup. Mm -hmm. That's starch all the stuff at the top that's the water content the bottom bit is the starch is gooey mm. sludgy it will clog you up it will slow you down mm. okay and and this is another thing i have to say they use cartoons movies bugs bunny bugs, bugs. bugs bunny is why a nigga wanted to eat carrots in the first he's the only reason like a nigga you know when you're young a lot of these vegetables first of all as a child i think you kind of know that a lot of these vegetables are foul. That's why kids don't want to eat their vegetables because the vegetables that they're giving you are the foul ones. But then you watch some shit like Bug, because I know I didn't want to fuck with no carrots till I seen this nigga talking about, nah, 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 what's up, doc? And then all of a sudden it's like, ha, ha, okay, yeah, Bugs Bunny. You know, I want to be like Bugs Bunny. And Bugs Bunny was a foul nigga, y'all. Not just carrots. That motherfucker was kissing men, dressed. He was fucking cross-dressing, all kind of crazy shit. That was a foul. He drew, ooh, don't follow that nigga Bugs Bunny. Wow. But wow. anyway, yes. That's what they do. That's Cartoons, uh-huh. That's what he did. Do. Anything they want, anything they want your children to believe in, anything they want your children to accept, 
please go and watch the cartoons that they're trying to show your children. There's a cartoon character called Peppa Pig. I read, I saw a, a, a book called Peppa Pig took the you know what. Mm. So I'm like, oh my God, this is how they're trying to normalize the things that are not normal mm. through imagery, yep. through tell live vision, cartoons, you know? So we have to be very careful, very careful. All of these foods, they're gonna, they're, they're, they're only going to bring us down. People want to know in the chat, they want to know about spinach. What about spinach? Spinach is not real. Obviously, again, where do we where do we know spinach from? From Popeye. Me, Popeye. I grew up on Popeye, right? So Popeye was eating spinach. He was kind of on the right track. He was getting strong. He was getting strong. He was on the right track because he was eating greens, but it was the wrong greens. Mm. The thing. It was the wrong greens. Okay. Now if I had to, if I had to explain it, I explain it like this because I like to. I'm, I know that I'm speaking to everyone. I'm not just speaking to the elders. I'm speaking to the youngers as well. Maybe even younger. Okay. Everybody likes to say that the lion is the king of the jungle, but the lion can't be the king of the jungle because the lion doesn't want no beef with the elephant. And if the elephant's trunk happens to whack that lion in his skull, he's gonna be knocked out quite a while he don't want no beef with the elephant so now when we look at the elephant what does the elephant eat meat no he doesn't eat meat he eats fruits he eats greens he's a vegetarian all right so if we look at nature we can learn a lot the ones that are the strongest the ones that live the longest and the ones that are the healthiest are the ones that eat the greens. What does a gorilla eat? A go a gorilla eats bamboo shoots and berries. Okay, a lot and of a gorilla will rip your arms off and beat you with it early, exactly. quick. And, quick. And and people say, oh, that's their, they have a different metabolism. Shut the fuck up, y'all! And y'all think y'all come from gorillas? So, <laughs> so why wouldn't you want to eat like a fucking gorilla if you believe you came from one? Exactly. Huh? Huh, motherfucker? Awesome. And they so damn strong. Like, why wouldn't you do the knowledge to a, what they doing? Yep. You know so I mean? we got gorilla, elephant, turtle, um, the ox, the giraffe, any big animal, big bones, living long. They're all vegetarians. Facto. Facto. We rather eat the ox than eat what the ox eats. Mmm. <laughs> that's crazy right you'd rather right. eat the ox than eat what the ox eats mm. talk to me about because our sister here uh rod digger shout out to her she mm -hmm. actually suffers from fibroids right Ooh. Ooh. talk that's to me about fibroids where they come from how they may be treated if this is something that can be reversed. Okay. Um, yeah. What, 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 what's the science of fibroids? Cause I know, and yes, tell us about calcium carbonate. Calcium yes. carbonate. Yeah. Yeah. I watch, I watch you, bro. Don't think I'm not doing the knowledge, bro. Yeah. You're doing the knowledge. You're doing the knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So imagine this is a fibroid. This is a thing, but this is a fruit. It's called a fig, F-I-G. Mm -hmm. So imagine this is a fibroid. Most right? of us have not seen a fig in that configuration, first of all, brother. Most okay. of us have seen the fig in a cookie called the Fig Newton. Oh, okay. okay. Most okay. of us here in America have actually never seen a fig up close. Right. Um, right. Okay. So that's interesting right there. We know we fig Newtons. There is a cookie called Fig Newtons. But anyway, go ahead. All right. So... Again, imagine this is your fibroid, okay? This was growing inside of you from when you came out of your mother's womb because your mother was eating the foods that you started to eat when you came out of her. So the fibroid always starts off as small as a grain of sand. Mm. And as you get older, it starts to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And what happens is, 
imagine this here is the uterus wall. And what happens is the fibroid attaches itself to the walls of the uterus. Okay, it's just right there. And what the doctor wants to do, the doctor wants to slice it, cut it out. So it just, they cut it out and they pull it out. It's gone, right? But then it's going to come back again. Why does it come back again? Because the doctor didn't tell you what you should do in order for it to come back, not to come back again. He actually wants you to come back again because you are a check. Mm. You are a check to a doctor. He's worked hard for seven years to become a doctor and prescribe you the same thing he's, they've been prescribing people ever since the medical industry was born, period. All right? So to get rid of the fibroid, you must dissolve it. Cutting it out, I can agree with that sometimes. If your fibroid is beyond three to four centimeters wide, I would recommend you go get it cut out. However, I feel that most fibroids underneath five centimeters wide can be dissolved the natural way. And it is dissolved by drinking things that contain iron. And the things that contain iron are those things that come from mother nature, just to name a few, sarsa spirilla, blue vervain, yellow dock, burdock, um, elderberries. These things contain a lot of iron fluorine. So when you drink warm iron flooring every single day, you're also drinking two to three liters of water a day. You're also drinking your sea moss, one cup of sea moss a day as well. When you do that process every single day, as the days go by, your fibroid is reducing in size every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. And then eventually, just like most women have reported to me, Oh my, I went to the toilet and I just heard bloop, bloop. And it was the fibroids. They just came out by itself. Yes. Mm. This is it. Because you've, you've loosened the fibroid from the si side of the walls of the uterus and there's nothing to hold. There's no mucus for it to hold onto anymore. Mm. Because you're filling your body with alkalinity. Mm. So now it's either going to dissolve or drop out and fall and, and, and go away by itself. And again, the reason why it, it comes in the first place is because of the eggs and the bread and the bacon and the shrimp and the pork chops and the mackerel. And the, when you consume all of these foods, it's depositing pieces of carbonic acid, uric acid and lactic acid into your body. Carbonic acid comes from the starch. The lactic acid comes from the dairy and the uric acid is coming from meat, period. Anything you have to kill, right? Those three acids is what is, calling, is what is causing the acid environment inside of our body, okay? Once we abstain from that, the body starts to heal because the body heals itself. I don't care if you eat dolphin. I don't care if you eat monkeys or fish or critters, I don't care what you eat. If you stop eating certain foods, you will heal. If you don't stop eating certain foods, guess what? You're still gonna heal. This I was called homeostasis, when the body is always right. in a process of healing itself. Mm -hmm. And this is what you gotta understand, like this is what's so divine about us. We always in a process of healing, just like the earth is in a process of healing. Like don't believe in global warming and it all, man, this shit purifies itself like you know what i mean and if you go according to nature man you can regenerate some shit okay the so amazing the body yes is amazing. the body and nature and you know what i mean this creator is amazing think about think about this let me let me let me give you this to think about right when you eat bullshit all you have to do is kick back and live your life and watch your body fuck up, right? But it's the same principles for when you eat the right shit. When you eat the right foods, you ain't got to say, quinoa, go to my bones, sea moss, to my muscles, elderberries. 
make sure you go. You ain't got to tell the herbs where to go. All you have to do is consume it, kick back, and relax, and let the herbs do its thing. That's how beautiful it is. But people can't see that. Why? There's, we could talk about that all day. We could talk about that all day. I don't know why people don't see that, but there's many reasons why people can't see it. Okay, but this is fundamental. You have to really know this. Once you can just get those foods in your body, your body does the rest. It ain't asking anything else but for you to put it in you. That's it. Listen, if you're just joining us, we're with E Kong from Eat to Live, Not to Die. Uh, make sure you follow him on uh ig we have his link in the description right now if you'd like to buy i actually bought your book uh i bought it too late though i just got it yes i bought it yesterday so i gotta wait for it to be shipped i should have bought it earlier so i'd have it for this broadcast my bad but uh i did purchase it um and i encourage there you go let's hang on let's put that on the screen let's show there it is. Hidden facts of health and nutrition too. This is seven years of hard work, man. Seven Let's years talk about it. First of all, would you consider yourself a doctor? No. No. Mm -mm. What are you? I don't know yet. Still, <laughs> you said I don't know yet. I, I'm I'm learning my I'm learning me every day, bro. I'm every day I'm learning who I am every single day, and and there's many people that. Are involved in that growth. You are one of them. Dr. Sabi is one of them. Um, Dick Gregory was one of them. Um, there's there's many, there's there's many people that aid all of us in growth. So I don't know who I am. I don't know. Right. Well, you know, people want these labels, and a lot of times it's like they'll act like, well, where are you getting this information from? Is he a doctor? You know, did the white man give him a, the, the, the stamp of approval for all of this fucking bush? You know what I mean? Like, like if they don't have certain credentials from the white man, a lot of times people want to reject the information, which is fucking yeah. retarded and shit like yeah. that. There's yeah. a lot of shit that I could just observe. Like, you are the scientists. Like, we all are scientists. We all are doctors. Mm -hmm. Just based upon observation and, and, you know what I mean, trial and error. Like, that's part of fucking science and shit. Um, and if you study, you know. 100%. You must study, but you must also study yourself. Like, the many, many of the herbs that um, I put in most of my products today, I take them. I take them, I, I took them all the time before I was giving them to any human being in the world because I wanted to know what they do for me. How do I feel when I drink the Kalawala, when I drink the Cheney root, when I drink the Sasa Spirella, how do I feel? Do I feel like I have energy? Because a lot of the time what people will say is eat for your blood type. No, you, you can't eat that. You got to eat for your blood type. And no, some people are supposed to eat that. And I but hear that. I hear it. But there's also another side to it that we all have to understand. Who on earth doesn't have calcium in their, bon in their body? Who on the earth today doesn't have manganese or magnesium or um, what's it, carbon or, or iron cells? Who doesn't have these essential minerals in their body? No one, no one in, nobody in the world is saying, I don't have calcium. I don't have magnesium. We all have these things, all of us. So if I consume something that has calcium in it and you consume something that has calcium in it, you're going to get the same benefits as me. The only reason why you wouldn't get the same benefits as me is if your body does not absorb the minerals the same way in which my body is, is absorbing the minerals. And why would the body have an issue absorbing minerals? Put it like this. Obstructions. Because... Yes. Mm -hmm. Sim, you know, you know when you go into the kitchen, right? There's a product that we all of us use to separate liquid from pulp. It's called a sim. Strainer. Strainer. Mm -hmm. Correct. Now, many of us have not dumped out the 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 pulp. Okay, we haven't dumped that out. The pulp is stored in us. In our strainer, in our internal strainer. 
Yes, my brother. And it's accumulating. Imagine mm. 60 years of that. Imagine 70 years of that. Imagine how long things are stuck inside of you for causing mm. problems every day, blockages. This is the reason why Dr. Savi said there is only one disease. And it's true. And that's, that's the mucus that is created from all the things we put in our body that the creator did not want us to put in our body. But the creator knew that the body might one day be compromised. So there were safety mechanisms inside of us so that this so that we're able to eliminate them. Okay? Right. And the mucus is one of them. Like it's not necessarily the mucus comes from the bullshit happening. It's not necessarily the mucus. Right. Seems, the mucus is is there because you put some shit in you that caused the mucus to have to come. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like think a lot of times we act like, I mean, a lot of these things are from what I understand, yeah. like a fever, all of these things are part of the body doing what we said, homo homeostasis, cleansing yeah. itself and, and trying to get back. The reason you cough is yeah. to dispel some shit. Like, you know what I mean? And they try to stop you from coughing. You know, they try to stop the body from doing what's natural. So the mucus is something that comes naturally when you're eating the wrong foods. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Um, and there's and and also every organ in your body has a protective layer of mucus. They call that the mucus membrane. Mm. And the mucus membrane can become compromised, meaning the acid foods that we eat can eat through the mucus membrane and then compromise the lung, compromise the heart, compromise the kidney, compromise the prostate gland. So we need that mucous membrane. And that mucous membrane, that protection is, 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 is created when you eat things that contain those types of things, such as sea moss, that mucilage. We need that. There's another herb called slippery elm bark. We need those types of things. We need the nopal, also known as um, uh, tuna in the Caribbean. So we need all of these foods to help protect us from the onslaught of any ailments or diseases. So the mucous membrane is highly necessary and we need to stop eating the foods that, can, that create that. But look at this though. Imagine everyone listening right now, imagine you put everything you ate today in a blender. Imagine everything you ate today, right now, put it in a blender and blend it. Would you want to drink it? Right. Because that's essentially what you're doing. Just because I ate chocolate in the morning with some coffee and I had a donut and then I had some chips and then I had some rice and then I had some Snickers and then I went some, to get some sweets and then I had a little bit of my friend's pizza. A and then I- sandwich and- chicken sandwich. Especially when you get to the meats. It's like, imagine putting the meats in a blender and all of that, and then drinking a meat fucking smoothie. Like, nobody and wants to do that. And that ain't any, and that isn't any different. Just because you ate them all one by one, that's exactly what it looks like in your belly. A blended mm. mush in your stomach. Mm. You get it? And yeah. there's some people that can actually blend and consume the things they did, that they ate today. You know, if you had fruit this morning or this rising, and then you had some water, right? And mm -hmm. then you had maybe some walnuts, and maybe you decided, hmm, you know what? I'm going to have another fruit. You know what? I'm going to have sea moss, actually. So when you start putting all those things together and put in the blender, I would drink that. Absolutely. 100%. I would want to drink that. Definitely. That's a smoothie right there. Right there. And that's nourishing. Nourishing. But everything else you blended before, that's going to rot. That's going to be putrid. That's going to, it's not good for you, period. Right. Do you want to put cheese in a blender? <laughs> you drink it. That's mm -hmm. kind of crazy, yo. Like, you got to you gotta put these analogies out there, though, sometimes simplify it for our people in their minds and just really see how ridiculous some of the things that we do are, you know? I and think about what you just said as well at the end. You said cheese. And when you said cheese, it made me think like one day a man or woman or both said, Rob, oh, my God, we, we, 
we, we have too much milk here. What are we going to do with the milk? And then you know what happens? The milk dries up, right? And the milk turns into cheese. And then they say, we can just sell them cheese. We don't, we don't have to throw away the milk. We can just wait until it hardens, turns into cheese, and we can sell them cheese. There's no way they're going to buy that. It stinks. It smells. We just tell it's them moldy. That, it's normal. We'll just tell them that's normal and everything's okay. They'll believe us. And then what happened? The whole world loves cheese now. And that's just gone off milk. That's expired, gone off, moldy, nasty, pus-filled, chemical-filled milk mm. that has hardened, which we call cheese today. And the cheese today ain't even that. It's fake now. Right. It's, it's processed it's fucking processed some other shit. It's, it's, it's plastic, really. 3D like. printed cheese. Facts. Wow. Right. Man, oh man. Oh they knew they, they knew food. Look, when it comes to black people, food and sex, you can kill us like that immediately. Like if you can you can get us by food and sex any day, anytime. That's it. That's where we that's where we fall. And you know what's so sad though, right? I know some really talented human beings in this world. There's many talented human beings and they all eat garbage. Imagine what they could do if they didn't eat garbage. Can mm. you imagine that? Mm. I know so many people like very well experienced, talented, skillful musicians, you know, pianists, you know, drum players, you know, rappers, all kinds of human beings. And they message me, Ekong diabetes, Ekong kidneys, Ekong, I'm, my hands are shivering. My, my feet are always cold this and that. And these are really talented individuals. And I would love them to, to have many more years doing what it is that they love doing in life, but just healthy. But they're compromised. They're not able to do those things that they enjoy doing because they don't have the discipline or maybe they don't know, or maybe they can't afford it. I don't know. But regardless of what the issue is, if you do not adhere to the laws of nature, you will suffer the consequences and repercussions for that. And that is a very, very miserable life. No doctor can help you. None. You, we just talked, we I talked about it earlier and you just touched on it. Let's talk about discipline for a minute because, you know, I think it takes a lot of discipline to unlearn a lot of the shit we learned. Like they literally gave us like this little pyramid back in when we was in school and, taught us about the food groups and what you should be eating. And they literally tell you you should have a starch, a meat, and a vegetable, like, you know, on your fucking plate, and then have some sort of dairy and, a, you know, and a juice and all that. And it's like to unlearn all of that shit takes a lot of discipline. And when you fuck yourself up after years of um, of of abuse, of, a, of nutritional abuse, it's not going to just be an overnight thing for you to be able to reverse this. Um, so just let's talk a little bit about discipline and, and what kind of discipline it would take in order to get yourself right. Well, discipline is, is a, is a very, this is discipline is a big tree with many branches. Mm. Okay. And our discipline levels have been compromised, not just due to um, what we eat, but also what we watch. Um, on purpose. On Yeah, on purpose, on purpose, 100%. And it's so, it, it, we, we all, really and truly, we need to help each other. But healing always begins with self. You know, just like when you get on an airplane, they'll say, make sure you... Um, Look after yourself first. We crash. Put on your life jacket first. Put every, sort yourself out before you sort someone else out. And that's the facts of every everything in life. If you want to be number one, you have to learn from number one. Okay. If you want to teach someone how to speak Spanish, you have to learn how to speak Spanish. If you want to save someone who is drowning. You need to learn how to swim because if you try to save them and you can't swim, you will drown. So whenever you look at life 
it always seems to be gravitating around you. You have to do it first. You need to be kind if you want kindness. You need to be disciplined. Hmm. If you want to change the world, change you, change hmm. yourself. This is how this is how we see life. This is how we see life. And disciplined people are very attractive. Not sexually, I'm not talking about anything like that. I'm just saying discipline is attractive. There are people in the world that cannot rap. And when mm. they hear people that can rap, they admire them because there's a certain discipline that they have to be able to do that. Whether it's rapping, whether it's swimming, basketball, I don't care what your talent is. You have to be disciplined in a certain area in, o- in order to you know, increase oneself, increase one's value Facts. in this world. So it's an individual thing and it takes practice. If you want to be healthy and you eat seven deadly meals, seven days a week, that's not how you become disciplined. How discipline begins is I eat seven garbage meals a week. I'm going to eat one out of that seven days. I'm going to take one day to eat a very nutritious meal. And if you stick to that for the fir- for a whole month, two months, three months, you can now step it up. Oh, I'm going to do two days now. Mm. That is how one gets disciplined. It's not overnight. Right. Nothing is overnight. Even the sun doesn't rise immediately. It takes time. It's gradual. Even a child that is going to be taken off the breast. The mother doesn't just take the breast away from the child. The mother knows I have to wean my child off my breast. I can't just remove my child from my breast. So that's the same with everything. Everything takes time. It has, a, it has a gradual process before it gets into the blossoming stage. And I think that's why they, I think that's why they promote the, um, the instant gratification just in life. They want you to have microwaves. They want everything fast. They want fast results. Oh, fuck all that. Just take a pill and you can have it tomorrow. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it takes time. Like, you know what I mean? In order to do things right, it takes time. And they don't want you to have the discipline to, you know, to, to, to go through that. You know what I mean? To, to, to go through the gradual process, you know, so people will put e- um, unrealistic expectations on themselves and feel like, okay, well, if I got to do this, then, you know, tomorrow I just have to, like, like eat healthy every fucking day. Like you said, it could be one day a week just to get you started. Exactly. You don't have to give yourself unrealistic expectations. Um, exactly. But at the same time, you have to do something. Look at the Chinese, yeah? The Chinese are some of the most disciplined human beings in the world. I never said the most healthiest. Mm. I said they're some of the most disciplined humans on this earth, right? And... When you watch their movies and you look at the, at the, the, the attention that they pay to detail, when you look at the things that they do, even when research this, um, Chinese incense, like the way they even just create incense just to burn, like everything they do, there's a discipline around it, okay? And most of us admire that. And when, and, and when they show us they always manage to throw in a little bit of knowledge in there as well to give that extra. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm just, I just have to repeat it because a lot of people, they can't seem to wrap their heads around it. Once you become disciplined, I promise you, everything in your life will just be on the up and up and up. 100%. 100 million percent. Absolutely. This is why I encourage people to, you know, to, to, to exercise and work out, not just to try to get muscles and shit like that, but before, for the mental discipline that it gives you, because you have to be a self starter out here, man. Like, like you gotta be the one that makes you get up and do whatever it is you need to fucking do. Like, you know what I mean? And, and 
You know, a lot of people, they, they just try to suck that out of you and, and they do it with foods. They do it with TV and movies and radio and all this other bullshit. And, you know, you got to be strong, man. It's a lot to combat. You know, there's a lot of forces going against you. Um, so you have to be strong and exercise your, your muscles in order to fucking withstand this shit. And, and again, when I say muscles, I don't just mean physically. You know, mentally, nutritionally, spiritually, all, you know, all your different muscles that you need in order to survive out here in this fucking world. Exactly. 100 million percent. Man, um, it's a I don't know. It's been a great conversation. You got, you know, it's anything else you wanted to touch on specifically? Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Um, I feel that most most of us in today's day and age right um we need to realize that it's it's more about the children now okay the children are very important and they are the ones that are extremely malleable and they're very and they're very fearless and with the, with the children as well, when they hear something that makes sense, they gravitate to it. They don't think too much about it, okay? So we have to try and help the children more. And some adults are very selfish. You know, just because they can't do something, they're not gonna promote it or to tell the youth or teach the youth about it because they can't, you know, adapt to that. But we must help the children. Me and, and, and Lord Jamal right here, we're children, we've just grown up, we've just grown. Every human being used to be a child. Think about that. Every human being that's an adult today used to be a child. And we've just grown children. So if we want to change the future, if we want to have a better tomorrow, we have to talk to the children today about their health and wellness and well-being and also mind, mindset. Like eating healthy is all good. I hear that. But it's not the be all end all. I know that food is the foundation and you have to build on top of that foundation. But there are other things as well that we must also master, like our minds. The mind must be mastered. It's not all about the food. The food is good, I hear it, but your mind is very, very important. Because like I said before, I know people that eat meat, I know people that eat garbage every day, but they're very intelligent people to me. They're very smart. They do a lot of incredible things. I just want them to just eat better so they can do better and be better. You know? Thank you, so Rio. We, we really need to just hone in on that. Hone in on the children and hone in on the mind. Because the food affects the mind. The food will affect your mind. But again, it, it is a kind of like a whole different subject. Because I can go into your belief system because your belief system is holding you back as well. Like, you know, Jesus ate fish, all of that madness. Right. You know, Loaves of bread they talk about in the Bible. And... Though these are some of the things that influence you. You know, I always talk about how we live in a mental world. Okay. Yeah. Like everything that's in your existence, outside and inside, are from something that you thought previously yes so the reason why you eat certain things is because you thought about eating it you see what i'm saying and and this is why it all starts with the mind it's like yes nutrition is part of it but it all starts with the mind the reason why you have that backdrop behind you is because you thought okay when i do my lives i need a backdrop and it should have different logos and boom there it is you see what I'm saying? Like, so our whole reality is based on our thoughts first. And so what we choose to put in our body is a thought. You know, what we put in our body, we're not just doing it accidentally. We're choosing these things. And so they're manipulating our choices. They're manipulating um, where our, our frame of reference you know, that that most importantly, because a lot of times it's a frame of reference. Like you said, Jesus, a frame of reference as Jesus gave bread and fish, <laughs> starch and meat. 
Right. Blood and starch, the two things that we started this whole conversation with, they're claiming that these, you know, Jesus, who is, you know, for some people, the, <laughs> the savior of the world, he was the one giving out this type of food. So why wouldn't I eat it? And right. they drinking wine out this motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. So clearly, what you believe can be stronger than matters. Truth. What you believe can be stronger than truth. Mm. Let me say it one more time. What you Please. believe can be stronger than truth. Because what is the definition of belief? The acceptance of things that I do not know. That's the definition. Go into the dictionary right now. Is mm. the acceptance of things that one does not know. You believe you need fish. You believe you need cakes and shrimp and lobster. You believe these things. So your belief system can outpower the truth. You know, it's very serious. And, and one more thing as well. This lifestyle is not for, no, no. Let me retract that. Let me start again. Hmm. This lifestyle is for every human on the earth. But not every human on earth will be able to adhere to this lifestyle. Please understand this. Right. And a lot of people will be upset and angry because they want what I have to give, but they are not ready to accept what I have to give, whether it's because of finance, whether it's because of belief, whether it's because of environment, whether it's because of whatever. Some people will get upset. And I understand that it can be upsetting when someone is talking about what you feed your children so basically i had someone say are you are you dis you're being disrespectful i feed this to my child are you trying to say that i'm incompetent are you trying to say that i'm <laughs> hurting my child yes i am saying <laughs> yes i am saying that but you don't need to take it to a, of, a, of offense you don't have right. to take it to that you know you just have to do better that's it all you have to do is better, like your best is enough. I don't know if anybody has heard that often. Your best is enough. Mm. I am teaching at the maximum velocity because our people need it. I'm not gonna bring the information down to your level just because, you know, oh, I think I sound a bit too harsh and I want those groups of people to accept it. And, you know, okay, I'm gonna compromise. And no, nah, I'm not gonna do anything like that. I am good. Look at this. Do you really think that Rolls Royce is going to say, okay, because you can't afford it, here's what we're going to do. We're going to create another car that's cheaper than this one so that you're able to come and, and buy it. Okay. We're going to make a cheaper one, reduce the cost of making it so that you can afford it. No, they're going to sell Rolls Royce. If you want, uh, if you've got Prius money, Go and get a Prius. If you've got Bentley money, go and get the Bentley. You have, there's a choice in life. Hmm. And I have decided to teach at that high level. And there's people that are ready to come to that high level. And there's some people that just want to make do with, you know, other stuff. Prius knowledge. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. And that's okay. We're not saying that's not okay. We're saying that is perfectly fine. However, there are consequences and repercussions for every action in this world. For every action, there is a reaction. And you have to be ready to receive those. That's just a part of life. Anything that you want, do you really think that there is no sacrifice for that? Like, mm. even if you want to go to the shop and buy a drink, do you think you're not sacrificing anything? Even if you want to think about taking a woman on a date, do you think there's no sacrifice for thinking? Every action, every thought, every intention, there's, an, there's a price. You just have to figure that out. What, what is the price? You have to figure that out. It's not me. It's not Jamal. You have to figure out the price for health. You have to figure out the price for slapping this person right now. You have to figure out what's the price of me taking that journey? What's the price for me Walking instead of driving. What's the, What's price? the price of me for fake slapping somebody? Ah. 
Because there seems to be a price for that too. There's always going to be a price, my brother. So or is it a fake people, price? They don't want to sacrifice shit. They don't want to sacrifice nothing. The sacrifice is the price. You have to sacrifice the bad things if you want the good things. Like there's a saying. What's the saying? I hope I can remember. Um, you have to sacrifice the things that gave you the bad health in order for you to get the good health. All right. And if you don't sacrifice the things that gave you the bad health, you're only going to continue to suffer. And that is a perpetual cycle for some people. And they're trapped in that. You know, it's just like people who decide to do the same crime a million times. There's a, there's a consequence, but it's, it's almost like they don't see it. Hmm. You know, so they just continue suffering. And with their suffering, they get madder and madder and angrier and angrier. And they even become worse, some people. And then what's the worst that can happen? Death, of course. But even that, that's another topic because I don't believe that's the end. But you just don't want to die angry or really unhealthy. Like those are you don't want to die like that, man. You don't you don't want chicken to point at you and say, ha ha, I took you out. You know, you don't want that. You don't want tofu to be pointing at you like, ah ha, you ate me and I took you out. People are being taken out by food, bro. Tofu. You should have been, people should have been here for 20 years. Some people should have been here for an extra 10 years, 15 years. But tofu and chicken and lobster. Took we them out. thought that tofu was healthy, bro. What? Tofu? We thought that tofu was, bro, was some good shit. Let me tell you how real this is, yeah? I we would thought that eat. soy was good yeah. at one point. This is what I'd rather we thought, eat brother. Fish. Bro, I'd rather eat fish than tofu on God. Mm. If someone gave me a choice, fish or tofu, Econ, fish, please. And now what kind of fish are we talking about? Because when you say fish, we're not talking about lobster and shrimp. No, and shrimp. no, no. I'm talking about fresh lake fish. I'm talking about fresh fish. I would choose that right. over tofu all day long. Why? Because man made tofu and the creator made fish. So I would rather Except eat for fish. tilapia. 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 Is man made that man shit. Man made that shit, yeah. And a lot of people don't even know that. They don't even know that and they love tilapia. They think, oh, Ooh. tilapia's the shit. That's that some Frankenstein fish, y'all. It's Frankenstein. Frankenstein fish. Leave that shit alone. Man, you don't even know all that farm raised shit. Leave that farm raised shit alone. If you eating fish, make sure it's wild caught. Okay. Yep. 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 Make time for health or illness will find time for you. Trust mm, me. Mm, mm. It's real. See, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I've been the perfect uh, you know, specimen of nutrition over the years, you know. Um, but I've, I've tried to have some sort of discipline in my life. You know what I mean? And it shows like, you know what I mean? Do you mind, do you mind, do you mind if I ask how old you are, bro? I'm 53 years old. You don't look it. So you've been doing something, right? Exactly. This is what you, I try to tell you. Right, bro, trust me. You've been doing something right. And if I was to the level, you know what I mean? That you're at, which I aspire to get to. And this is why I bought your book and. Man, like, like I don't go through a lot of the shit that a lot of people my age, like, I don't have the gut and all of this, you know what I mean? I have energy. I'm still doing push-ups and all kind of shit. Like, um, and yeah, people's like, damn, you look like you don't age and all this type of shit. Well, I told y'all motherfuckers years ago that you can't fucking eat whatever the fuck you want, you know? Um, but y'all wasn't, y'all didn't hear me though. And now... Fast forward, I got motherfuckers that's younger than me that look like, you know, they're in their fucking 60s type of shit. It's like, what Crazy, the bro. fuck? And there's, there's, there's a secret that I want to share, yeah? When you listen to music that you used to listen to when you was young, I'm talking about 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. If you listen to music when you were young, you listen to the music you were listening to that was young when you was younger. Mm -hmm. That can help you become younger. Mm. Okay, because it is it's activating 
certain cells inside of you that was enjoying life during that time. Okay? <laughs> Yo, this is so deep that you're saying this right now. Go ahead. And, 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 and it wakes up those cells. Like, i give you an example, right? There's certain things that our parents have gone through that when we eat something and sometimes listen to something or sometimes experience something, that thing is activated immediately. Mm. So it's the same for what I just said before. Listen to music that you listened to when you was young and your cells will become younger because it's cells that make up who you are. Your, the cells of your lungs are made up of little tiny dots, microscopic, you can't see them, but all together bunched up, they make a lung. All the cells bunched up, made to get, bunched up together make the heart. So it's cells, we are made from cells, you know? Little tiny, microscopic, no, no um, magnifying glass in the, in the world can see it. This, I am not solid. Nothing on the planet is solid. It's cells. So right. these cells- have Although it appears to be solid, but yes, this is all a bunch of little things coming together to give the appearance of yes. solid. But exactly. yeah, there's space now, between. Also, the opposite is true. So if you listen to music, right, when you're in your older stage, when you grow up, and this music is very negative, very, very negative, extremely negative. If you listen to that all the time, you actually get older. You age quicker. Mm. You see it in your face. You will see it in, 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 in how you feel. How you feel, you feel it. And a lot of people don't get that. Like everything you eat, okay? Your eyes eat, your ears eat, your mouth eats, your nose eats, everything eats, your hair eats. So think about it. Are you eating acid? Are you eating alkaline in every aspect of life? Right. See, let me just say, I don't want to cut you off, but the reason why this really resonates with me, because mm -hmm. it's not just music. I believe it's images too. So recently, oh, yes, definitely. Recently, or not so recently, I discovered this channel, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's a TV channel. It's called Me TV. And yeah. they play fucking like shows like from the 70s, like when I was a fucking kid, like seven, eight years old. And that's my word. Like the shit comes on like later at night or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I be, I was, I start watching this channel consciously feeling like, let me see if watching this will unlock some like memories of when I was a child or some shit like that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, yeah or even just certain feelings, you right. know what I mean? And yeah. like, I remember hearing these theme songs in the background and, you know, and like now I'm watching the shows again and I, I feel like I'm kind of doing what you're saying right there without yeah. nobody telling me to do it. Yes. I just kind of like did it like, and yeah. uh, yo, I, 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 that's it. That's I always it. do shit like that in my life. Like I, I feel like I just naturally do the right thing a lot of times like and i guess it's just from being in a certain frequency man i don't know well, what i'm telling you and what you're telling me ain't nothing new bro there's nothing new under the sun it's Facts. never it's never what you do is how it's done right and everything i'm saying is a reminder i'm not better than anyone on this planet earth i am a grain of sand on the beach all right so every Every human being is playing a part of this thing called life. Every human is a piece to the puzzle of life. And whether or not you think you are special or not, you are special. Whether or not you think you're doing anything or not, you are doing something. You might think that a homeless man sitting on the side road is doing nothing, but he's doing one of the greatest jobs in the world, showing you how it is to be homeless. Mm. He's showing you something. He's teaching you something. He might give you a frame of reference. Thank you. He could do anything and he's doing something. He's assisting the creator in creating. Mm. Regardless of what you may think. A leaf falling from a tree onto the ground 
that was done on purpose, that there was a reason for that. Everything is happening for a reason. So when you see someone that's sick, they're supposed to be sick. Mm. When you see someone who's fat, they're supposed to be fat. Everything is absolutely necessary. Polarity is a law like gravity. You cannot escape it. It is needed. If there, were, if there was nothing but good people in the world, the world would, would go upside down. If there was, well, you got to know what bad is to know what good is. Thank you, my bro. And I would rather teach the bad and the good than just the good. Why would I just want to teach good? I need to teach everything. All right. Well, it's about balance because some people want to teach just bad. Some people want to teach just good. And you have to show that there's that balance in nature. Some people don't believe in violence, but maybe I have to get violent to save your son. Exactly. You're going to be happy, right? Oh, thank you. You saved my son. Oh, my God. I don't know what I would have done if I wasn't there. If you wasn't there. Everything is necessary. Everything. Which is why we have rappers with rifles coming up uh, April 23rd out in PA. Uh, sign up. Uh, link is in the bio. Um, but yeah. You Shit know, like that. It. Exactly. Everything is balanced exactly the way it's supposed to be. So don't don't hate people, man. Just appreciate, just be grateful for your life. Be grateful for, for people like Jamal, myself, anyone that's bringing you information, whether you can accept it today or not, just take it in as a seed and allow it to grow. Okay, that's it. Accept it or reject it. The choice is always yours. It's always going to be yours. It's never not been yours. You can get with this or you can get with that. It's really up to you. Always up to you. You could bro. be slim or you could be fat. And, um, and because I'm talking, and because I'm talking on your podcast, I, go, I've, I have to talk to the to the rappers. I have to talk to the rappers. For talk to them. Rappers, listen. I respect the drip, the Rolex watches, the clothes, you know, the cars, everything. Mm -hmm. You can have all of that, but without your health, you can't use any of it. Okay. So what I advise for you to do is pay people the same way you pay for your cars and your clothes and your jewelry and your security. Pay chefs, you know, mm. like pay a chef. Well, they do pay chefs, but they pay chefs from these restaurants that are killing people. Right. Exactly. That's what I was going to get to. Stop mm -hmm. paying a chef to kill you and start paying a chef to save you. That's what I'm saying. Stop paying chefs to kill you. Pay chefs that will help you, that will save you, that will help you out internally because your body goes on the stage, right, to perform. It's your right leg that pushes down on the accelerator in your car, right? You attach your belt and your trousers to the waist. You put your Rolex watch in your hand. Like, you need to look after you. If you have money, anyone that has money in this world, I'm talking to you. If you have money... Pay a chef to help your life, literally. Because we're spend, the people that have money were spending on foolish things. Absolutely foolish things. And when the coroner comes to collect your body, bro, your Rolex is going in the lost and found or in the doctor's pocket. Your cash, your, your wallet, your car's going to be in the driveway. All those women, they're going to be with other men. It's not going to mean anything. If you don't have your life. See, now you got to make sure that this chef is educated correctly, though, because a lot of these chefs, you'll be like, yo, well, all right, I want healthy shit. What's he going to do? He's going to cook you carrots and broccoli and cauliflower and all that other shit. So they got to they have to be educated. These chefs we talking about have to be cookbook. educated. What's that? Tell them they need to go and get my wife's cookbook. Cook with Matulu, Alkaline Cuisines. Mm. This book, right? This book is infinite. This book will be relevant until the end of time. Do you know why I say that? The reason why I say that book is going to be irrelevant until the end of time is because the things that are being used, sorry, the things that the book is advising you to use has been here since the beginning of creation. It's been here before you, before me, before humans, all right? The world was created already. 
all the sour sops and the mangoes and the berries and the cherries and the calawala and the blue vervain and the yellow dock and the burdock and the, the red clover and the cloves and the figs. All of this was here first. And those are the things that the cookbook is asking you to cook with. So it don't matter whether it's year 2087, whether it's year 3034, this book will still help your life because they keep telling us about global warming. One day there'll be no more soil. One day this and one day that. And this is happening. They're lying. They're liars. Everything is abundant. There's no such thing as global warming. Everything is abundant. Yes, sir. Nature will never die. Facts. Nature, nature doesn't need us. We mm. need nature. And they're just trying to scare us. Fear can sometimes be stronger than love. Okay? Fear can sometimes, not all the time. Tupac said it. Fear can be stronger than love. Okay? And there's a lot of fearful people in this world. But the more you accept that fear, the more you'll be debilitated, frozen, static. Like you can't move. It will freeze you. So you need to start overcoming your fears and stop believing in things that you see on TV. Just like this slap by Will Smith. Oh that my is, goodness. That is one of, this is just an example of many distractions on this planet Earth. This is another distraction, another one for you to consume and to make memes about and to, and to send to people. And when you give you a fake opinion cool. on some fucking shit that's not even real. Not even real, bro. Not even real, bro. <sighs> you know, and we will give our time is the most precious thing in the world. And we'll give our time to that. To that. And then what happens? Will Smith's sales go up. Chris Rock's sales go up. Everyone's sales go up that they're talking about. Why? Because your sales go up when, your na when their name is in their mouth, your mouth. When Will Smith's name is in your mouth, his money goes up. And what happens to you? Nothing. You say the same. You just gave him some marketing. That's it. It's free marketing. That's all it is. We did that. We did a show, you know, about the bullshit. Um, the shit probably got about fifty thousand views right now. I wonder how many views this show right here is gonna get. Regardless of how many views it gets, is the truth, and that's another thing. Just because right. the truth don't get views, it don't mean it's not the truth. Right, but it's just it just shows what people are gravitate towards they gravitate towards the bush this is the shit that'll help you in life right here this is the shit that should get 250 000 million views but it's the shit the fake bullshit that adds no value to your life that wastes your fucking time this mm -hmm. is the shit y'all want to watch 100 and especially on a channel that's supposed to be a conscious channel like come on man mm -hmm. i expect more y'all like, I want to see a fucking uh, 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 episode like this do fucking numbers. Like, come on, man. Cut the bullshit out. Share the shit. Like it. Do whatever the fuck you got to do to put this shit in the algorithm. Because this is the type of shit we need. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you. I seen something in the chat. And I don't even know your views on this. But I want to uh, see something. What's your views on marijuana? Natural. Natural. However yeah, natural. However, the government have been producing fake weed for eons. God knows how long now. Mm. And it's weed that has no seeds. Like, they, mm. like especially in America, they actually pride themselves. For ha not good. having seeds. Yes. Like, yeah. it's actually a good thing. Like, it's right. Perfect. Right. When I and was coming up, weed had mad seeds in it. But it was a hassle, you know. You had to strain out the seeds, and you know. But that's pay. But that, that's the thing, though, Jamal. That's the patience. You see, when it comes to patience, bro, it coincides with discipline. Mm. Anything that you take your time and are patient with, you get the best results. Do you know mm. that? Facts. But the thing, but the things that they the people want today, they want it so quick that they don't realize that for them to get it quick, something must be removed in order for you to get it that quick, which is what? The seeds. So if something doesn't have seeds, what do you think 
it is. It means it's fake. It means it's a Frankenstein. It means it's genetically modified. It means it's not real. It won't aid you. If yeah, a man, yeah. seedless grapes and seedless watermelons, and because crazy. they want you to be seedless, people ah, understand. Right. And that's what's happening, though. That's already happening, bro. Mm -hmm. That's happening right now. A woman, if I said to a woman, I like you, um, but I don't have no seeds, she's going to think twice about dating me. She's going to think twice about giving me any time of day. I don't have no seeds. Uh, what's, what is my use? Right. You feel me? So yeah. smoking, there must be two forms of smoke. Because we talked about polarity a moment ago. There's good smoke. There's bad smoke. Mm. There's good fruits. There's not so good fruits. Mm. There's, there's everything needs polarity. And what I've noticed is good smoke burns white. Bad smoke burns black. Mm. And think about this as well. A lot of people say inhaling smoke is bad for you. Okay, I'll give you that. What about an asthma pump? You have a disease, right? And now they're giving you an asthma pump. Do you think that that smoke or that mist, or whatever is in it, do you think when you inhale it, do you think that's good for you? Or do you think that's bad for you? What do you think? <laughs> Does it cure you of your asthma? What do you think? And think about this. A lot of people burn sage in their house. I've seen certain rooms on the internet, smoky. Right. They say secondhand smoke is the worst smoke in the world, but you're breathing in secondhand sage smoke. Is that good for you? And incense. Mm -hmm. And incense. So are these things good for you or bad for you? Because you're inhaling it, right? People say, oh, inhaling smoke is bad, but you're burning incense and sage and taking in um, asthma pumps. Is that good for you or bad for you? I need to know. And you're standing at the fucking bus stop inhaling bus smoke and shit like that. Thank you. You feel me? So when it comes to smoking, bro, I'm not saying smoking is for everyone, but I'm saying think about this. Smoking can be good for some. Smoking can be bad for some because there must be good smoke. There must be bad smoke. And mm. if marijuana grows in the mountains of Africa and Jamaica naturally, it means that the creator wanted us to have that. Right. Now, is marijuana the only thing that we can smoke in this world? No. There's something in this world called mullen. Mullen. Mullen is a herb that people have been smoking for hundreds, thousands maybe of years. And they also drink it as a tea. Smoking isn't something new because the government sell their own cancer sticks, as people call them. Mm -hmm. And the government will put a dead body at the back of a cigarette package and say, smoking kills. And what do you do? You go and buy it. Why do you go and buy it? If it told you, smoking kills. Smoking kills. Well, actually, people. in London, they put like shit, like dead bodies on the pack. Like they, out they here, they, over there? nah, they just put you know smoking kills or whatever. But they don't okay, put, over here. They put yeah, yeah. I know. I seen that shit over there. This shit look. <laughs> that's crazy. And people are still like, yo, they really trying to and yo you, to to like pick that up and look at that. No, bro, it's kind of crazy. Bro, it's crazy. And I'm that's crazy. A cigarette has 7,000 different chemicals in it. And they're going to tell you, don't smoke natural weed. Smoke tobacco. Right. Why? And then you're going to throw me in prison for hundreds of years. Or like, why are you sending me to prison for something that grows in nature? That's like sending me to prison f for, for smoking, I don't know, whatever grows in my back garden. Naturally. Right. Why would you do that to me? Because they can't tax it. Because we make money from that. Anything we make money from, they don't want us to control that shit. That's crazy. Oh. So speaking of uh, controlling and making money, um, why don't you share with the people uh, before we get out of here, like some of the products that you have, you know, for sale, your books, your your I, I believe that mullen was something that you sell, yes? Yep, yep. Mullen is definitely something that you sell. So Just mullen is something into that you it. drink as a tea. You drink this as a tea every day to get rid of those smokers coughs, those mucus filled coughs. Mullen um helps the, the bronchial juice to be cleansed. 
and the lungs to be cleansed also. So that's a product that you can use to replace your tobacco. If you're a person that mixes tobacco with their weed, you have to use this instead of tobacco now, right? Mm. Second product is our phonio rice replacement. You need this in your life, okay? And I'm going to give you a discount code. The discount code is abundance, mm. right? Okay. We have a tooth powder called myrrh clove. The name of it gives it away. Myrrh and clove. Those are the two ingredients. Very good for gum health, teeth and gum health. Replace your fluoride toothpaste with this today. What else do we have? We have the endocrine. Endocrine is very, very good for the endocrine system. That's why I call it endocrine. And by the way, all of these products I make and package myself, if anybody was wondering. So the endocrine system is the system that controls your whole life. Your pineal gland, your pituitary gland, your hypothalamus gland, your adrenal glands, your thyroid glands, your prostate gland, every gland, breasts, they're called mammary glands on women. So every gland in your body is ran by the endocrine system. And this endocrine, which is CMOS and bladder in powder form, mm. will help to nourish your endocrine system. So anyone having problems with any of those glands that I mentioned, including evacuating the stomach, that will be a very good product for you. Um, we also have elderberries. Elderberries grows naturally in the wild, highly alkaline, mm. high in, in, in iron. So if you want to clean out your blood, even if you want to make a nice natural juice for your children and this is for our sisters with the fire fibroids as well right for the for the sisters for the sisters in regards to fibroids they need the um the product that many are afraid of it's called the douche i'm going to show it <laughs> <laughs> yes matter of fact we need to talk about the douche the douche <laughs> we need to talk about the douche and we need to talk about um Shit, I think we need to talk about uh, hygiene as far as, you know, <laughs> vaginal hygiene and that it shouldn't be smelling. And, 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 and ladies, you know, first of all, I hope you understand y'all need to take baths. Like, you can't just take a shower. Like, the water needs to get inside y'all. That's part of what douching is. But also, yeah. when y'all take a bath, like... Y'all got to let the water get inside you, yeah. okay? Um, we're not talking about Massengill douches. We're talking about some natural shit. Um, yeah. But, yeah, stop thinking that as a woman, y'all could just take showers. Whoa. Like, that's not cool, y'all. Y'all have to take baths, women. You have to. You have to. And, that and stinking I'm just... cat ain't supposed to be stinking like that. Nope. And you are what you eat. So if you're eating the garbage disposal men of the ocean, I mm. eat crabs, Talk. shrimp, lobster. All of these things are the garbage disposal men or women, because they are female lobsters and crabs and shrimps and prawns. Of these the ocean. Of the ocean. Garbage disposal men and women of the ocean. You eat that. That's a delicacy to you. Why? How did they do it? I don't know. I don't know. But we, we need to get away from it because you become what you eat and think about. Again, you become what you eat and think about. Okay? So when you start eating the dead carcass of animals, what do you think you smell like? Mm. Okay, let's move on. So this is the douche. This is what douche looks like. Mm. All right, so the herbs. Now I know some of y'all ladies have never seen this. This is what it looks like, y'all. Hold it up one more time because hold on, hold I know so, some of y'all have never seen this in your life. Yeah, okay, that's what douche. it looks like, ladies. This is a douche, right? So the herbs go in here. Okay. Okay, the herbs go in here. Mm -hmm. this pump action. Okay, this is pump action right here. Okay. So when, you, when you fill it up, it pumps. And when you press down the pump, 
it comes through this cord here mm -hmm. and this is what you insert into your uterus all right it mm -hmm. attaches like that okay and the herbs that you use is very important what we offer in our package is the red clover herbs dr sabi which is my teacher he advised women to douche with red clover one of the best things vaginal discharge endometriosis fibroids it doesn't matter red clover mm. so, so when you insert it inside of you and press down on the pump there's holes here at the top now and this is not a freak off device lady you're cleaning no, yourselves no, ladies no, no. no it's not not at all. not at all so what happens is the liquid of the red clover you have to boil this and mm. put it into the, inside of the bottle there now are they shooting boiling? No, 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 no. You wait. Oh, yeah. You, you wait. boil it and then they let it cool. Oh, right? So don't shove boiling water up. Your, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. good, ladies. Okay. And, that, and, and I have to let you know that it does come with step-by-step -step image instructions as well. Right? Um. So when you insert it into you, the holes at the top here, when you press it down on the pump, when you press the pump down, it starts to squirt the herbs out. And the herbs are now going into the uterus walls because the uterus absorbs. It's like a sponge, just like the penis. Mm -hmm. The penis absorbs and the uterus absorbs as well. Mm. So as it goes inside of you, it starts to deacidify your uterus. Mm. All the stuff that's on the sides of the walls inside of you, it starts to now come down. Mm. And for some of you start. ladies, all those different men that were inside of you start to come down. Come down. Because the reason why you're using this, just like Jamal said, is it's about going inside. A lot of women are doing something called steaming. That's like me saying, I'm yeah, not yoni going, steaming. Uh-huh. That's like me saying, I'm not gonna drink this water. I'm going to allow the steam to hit my face and hopefully the water will be absorbed into it. Right. No, it's not working. That won't work. I don't, I don't condone steaming. I don't think steaming works, me personally. I think that you need to go inside to the primary area. Facts. And go and deal with it at the source. Stop pussyfooting around it. Stop doing the whole, you know, just go don't directly. pussyfoot around the pussy. Right, go directly to the source. So when you put these things inside of you, I recommend you douche two to three days after your cycle. And you do that every seven days after your cycle. All right. And again, it helps to loosen. Remember what I said about the fibroids? The fibroid needs to be dissolved. Remember what I said? Mm -hmm. It needs to be dissolved. So when you start douching, it literally starts to remove bits of the fibroid from you until one day it keeps removing it keeps removing until one day it's gone completely that's what herbs do it breaks down plaque it breaks down toxins it breaks down cholesterol it breaks down inflammation it breaks down mucus that is why we drink things like iron that's why oh and i have to show you this i don't i don't know why i don't have a package here to show you but this product right here you see this product yes this iron fluorine iron fluorine. this is the best product in my inventory mm. and there's a reason for that the reason why this is the best product in, the, in my inventory is because most of us i'd say 95 percent of us on the planet earth are anemic 95 percent of us because mm. when i ask someone when was the last time you had iron oh yeah i had some vitamin d tablets yeah they gave me some of that the other day i had some iron no you didn't iron tablets do not work iron tablets will constipate you iron tablets will bind you they're giving mm. you fake iron they're giving you iron like when you when you when you take metal when you have metal like this, this was made, stainless steel was made from iron. So what they do is they literally sand, they sand the metal and they put that into tablet form and they give it to you and say, yeah, 
you need iron. No, I don't need literal iron. I need iron that derives from plants. I don't need literal iron. I'm organic. I'm an organic being. So mm. I need organic substances in order to nourish me. So when you drink iron, immediately you're going to start saying, wow, I have a lot of energy. I don't feel as tired anymore. Oh, my days, the, the fatigue is gone. I used to have, um, I used to lo lose my memory a lot. My memory is coming back. I no longer suffer from anxiety anymore. I used to have this pain in my back. and this... So this is what iron does for you. Mm. It helps to clean your blood because where doesn't the blood go? Think about that. Where doesn't the blood go? The blood goes everywhere inside of you. Say everywhere. I mean, so if you're cleaning go. the blood, don't you think you're cleaning everywhere? Mm. So clean your blood, brothers and sisters, and don't mm. be scared of the douche. Because please don't be scared of the douche, don't ladies. Of the douche. Don't be scared of the douche. There's the some douche could be your friend. There, there are was... there are unnatural douches out there, like you said. Yes, they're not, they're not good. And then that's what ladies. That's why a lot of ladies don't want to mess with them exactly. because they already know. They set they set up a bad frame of reference for the douche. And oh no, I don't want to do that because you can get infections and all this other shit, and it's not good to, you know, yeah, that's because that's the fucking mass and gill and all these fucking white people fucking yeah. bullshit that they don't care what they shoot up in you. Um, exactly. They we talk natural. Man. They're giving it a bad connotation. So many women will just swear they will never take, never use it. And that's not good. Because they they they're pushing you further away from the truth, and they know what they're doing. You know they know what they're doing. You don't want to listen to them. Trust me. How can you listen to someone that's never helped you? Think about that. Like when a woman goes to a doctor, the doctor's gonna tell you to rip out your uterus, hysterectomy. He's not trying to tell you change your diet, eat, drink sea moss, drink chlorophyll rich plants. He's just telling you, well, we recommend you for surgery. Cause that's his job. He ain't gonna tell you the right things to do. Yeah, just like the schmack schmeen, you know. They want you to take the schmack schmeen, you yeah. know. And why would you fucking trust a motherfucker who never had your best interest in heart? Like, Ever. why would you run out and do some shit that they recommend when they never loved you prior? Like, like, what's wrong with y'all, motherfuckers? Like, and how the hell are you gonna go? Devil. How are you gonna go? and get the cure from the person who's going to prescribe you the poison. Think about that. They don't think about it and they don't want you to think about it. That's the think about that. It's crazy. That's the thing. It's crazy. Yes, my wife said soak in the bath 3 mm -hmm. four times a week. She says soak your ass, bathe at a minimum 3 to 4 times per week. No synthetic soaps, soaking herbs, flowers, salts, and clays. Come on. Okay, let's clap it up for that. Come on. And that's your wife right there, huh? Yeah, yeah. I value She's her. Oh, I value her. I value, I believe more in value in value than love. I know mm. it's a profound statement, but mm. value for me comes first, then love. No, I feel There's you. There's a lot of people that don't value their partners you say oh i love you i love you i love you but do you value your partner mm. think about that yeah that's deep that's a good one man yeah um this role mess marioli said hashtag hashtag don't be scared of the douche that's right <laughs> don't be scared, don't be of, the scared of the douche for people that are having having problems growing their hair and having skin problems, we've got something for you. It's called Skin for Life. Mm. Skin for Life is a product that you use on your hair to grow your hair and also on your skin. Now, this is another finesse that they've done to us, unfortunately. You know, everything's about money with them. So they've managed to get money from you buying two different products. That you, that you don't need. You buy shampoo and you buy body soap. Why do right. you? Right, I always thought that. I what? said it's the same fucking thing. 
and and then oh they'll get you with the conditioner too like like yeah shampoo and soap is the same thing i remember at one point i just used to wash my hair with soap like like it's real talk like think about it especially when you get into the natural soaps like the doctor dr bronner's and shit like that 100 percent that's you use that for everything like if you can't if you can't put what you put on your hair on your skin you're doing it wrong if you can't put on your skin what you put in your hair you're doing it wrong it doesn't make sense because if you was to get a shaving stick right now and shave your hair bald, shave off your eyebrows, shave off all the hair off your body, what would be standing there? Flesh, the largest organ. So why are you trying to separate your skin from your head? Your head is your skin. Your skin is your head. You are skin. So you need to make sure that what you're putting in your hair, you can put in your skin. And what you can put in your skin, you can put in your hair. And you should also be able to eat it, put it inside inside of you. Because anything you put in your skin enters your bloodstream in less than 10 seconds. Mm. Period. Think right. So if you can't swallow it, you're still swallowing it through your skin. Right. Three million pores. Come on. Three million so- they finesse you by saying, well, there's something in here that makes give your hair body and shine and it makes it bounce. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. Like, like, bro. They yeah. Spend more, they spend more on market. Look, they would spend 50 million on a 30 second advert just to tell you to eat pork. Right. Think about that. Think about what I just said. They would spend millions. On 30 second adverts to tell you to go and kill yourself, marketing is the greatest weapon in the world. Mm-hmm. Notice they create a fake slap on during the Academy Awards to get you to fucking think about alopecia, which is a medicine that they're fucking selling now because it's the side effect of the the smack mean. Wild. <laughs> and if you and if you took the smack, I would say for people that are thinking, oh, how do I get rid of it? I took it. I don't know why I did it. What you need is iron. For people that took the schmack schmeen you're talking about. Yeah, for, people that, for the people that took it, what you need is iron. Remember the picture that I showed you a minute ago? Mm-hmm. Iron chlorine? Yes. Because what does the iron do? Remember the schmack schmeen, what did you call it? Schmack schmeen. Schmack schmeen. <laughs> I love because that. you don't want to, you know. I love that. I love so that. We you know, just go around the algorithm. <laughs> schmack schmeen. Mm-hmm. So when you take that, that thing, Mm-hmm. You know what it does to you? It, it clots you. It, it gives you blood clots, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you need something that's going to unclot you, right? And that's going to be things that contain iron. And the things that contain iron, most of them, they're very bitter. It's mm. not it taste good at all. Mm. Like the iron chlorine, that's not a really a great tasting tea, but it's the best thing for you in the world. Mm. Like thinning out your blood. Forget about garlic. Garlic is used to kill people. Right. Look, in, world, in World War II, yeah? The soldiers were dumping their bullets in buckets of garlic juice. And even if the bullet grazes the enemy, they'll still die. You know why? Because of the toxin that's inside of garlic. The The wound won't won't heal and all that. Won't heal, bro. You just bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed until you're dead. They put garlic on knives and shit too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, So you don't want that to thin out your blood i know why people are using it lower blood pressure thin your blood i know i get it but it's not what you need what you need is the iron the iron is what you need okay um cmos everyone everyone sells cmos now uh, right everyone knows about cmos but there's only one good type of cmos the cmos that grows off a rock I don't care whether it's yellow, purple, orange, turquoise. I don't care. If it grows off a rock, it is good. If it doesn't grow off a rock, this is not good. Mm. That's all I'm going to say. I don't care what species you want to use, what color. That's not my concern. I don't care about that. I care about whether it grows off a rock or not. Because that's where it gets its minerals. Mm. Every plant in the world grows off a rock mm. the roots of the sarsa sprella is touching rocks and it absorbs the minerals and it puts it into itself and that process is called iron trophorosis 
Mm. And it, it, it absorbs those iron minerals from the iron rock. And then when you boil the plant and drink it, you are now receiving the iron. That's how beautiful the process of nature is. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Seasoning for food. We call it the all. You can season anything you want with this. Mm. I obviously don't recommend you season your meat with it, but if you wanted to, you could. But you can season anything you want with this. This is just normal alkaline herbs. Basil, thyme, dill, sage, clove, sea salt. It's normal everyday stuff. But what you will get, and what I used to get when I before I turned alkaline, because I was eating everything under the sun, bro. For anybody that wants to know, I was started off just like you. I was eating everything under the sun, mm. you know. And when I found out what was going on in regards to everything I was consuming, even the se down to the seasoning is finessing me. Seasoning finessing mm -hmm. you. Can you imagine that? Because how it's much like seasoning has garlic? Is garlic based? <sighs> they love garlic and seasoning. Oh, bro, it's just everywhere, bro. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Inescapable. Almost like it's inescapable. Almost like it's inescapable. Yes. You need to just go to nature. Like, create your own. The same way I've created a seasoning, right. and I'm marketing my seasoning to you today. Right. Fuck, Mr. Fuck E Kong's seasoning. I'm doing <laughs> my own seasoning. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. But it's here if you need it. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying. Right. To, I'm trying to teach you. I don't want to. You know, there's a saying: teach a man how to fish, and blah blah blah. I'm trying to teach you, bro. I'm trying to right. teach you this. If you know, my job becomes lighter. You're I'm not trying, trying to, to corner the market. You're just spreading the knowledge. That's it, bro. I can't take it with me. A lot of people try to hold on to money, cars, clothes, knowledge. You can't take shit. You can't take nothing. The only thing you're going to take with you is your deeds and your intentions behind those deeds. That's it. That's all you're taking. Your deeds and the and the intention behind them, more so. No doubt. Thanks for all the likes, y'all. Oh, colon cleanse. Let's talk about it. Colon cleanse. Some people have things stuck in their stomachs since 1989. Facts. Yeah? Real talk. No, I'm, I'm being very serious. I There's know. Stuck in people's stomachs. <clears throat> it's 1989, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Stuck, just not going anywhere. You need a colon cleanse. We need to cleanse our colon at least every six to seven months. Even if you're alkaline, me, I'm alkaline, but I still fast. I still have to cleanse. I'm not exempt. I'm not exempt because think about it. I don't make my flour. Hmm. Could they have? Could they have done something to my flour? Yes, of course. I don't make the agave. Could they have done something to the agave? Yes, of course. I use onion powder occasionally. Could mm. they have added some cocaine to my onion powder? Mm. Yes, they could have. I don't know. So I have to bear that in mind and also cleanse and fast periodically to make sure that I'm as clean as I possibly can be. You feel me? Yeah. It's very important, yeah. Um, Talk about fasting, as fasting. Well. Ooh, fasting is the fastest way to healing yourself. The fastest. That's mm. why it's, it's fast. You know, it's fast, fast track to, to to good health. Talk about fast. how long someone should fast. What kind of fast are we talking about? So, um, this is why this is why this book is very powerful. I'll tell you why because I decided, you know. There's going to be some people in this world that's not going to be able to do the pure um, liquid fast. So I'm going to have to create. And, and I wrote the book myself, by the way. I put it together myself. Yeah. Yo. I didn't get anyone to make it for me or write it for me. Everything was done by me. Yeah. Right. So there is a water fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you can't, this is the best fast, liquid fast. This is the best fast in the world. But some people might not be able to start like this. So they're going to have to go over to the juice or smoothie fast. 
okay? Mm-hmm. And then there's some people that might not be able to do that, and they're going to have to go to the raw food fast. Mm. Okay? So there's levels to fast. If you're a beginner, you might want to start first with the raw foods for a couple of days or weeks, and then gravitate to the juice and smoothies. And then when you feel confident, you go to the liquid fast. So we recommend people to fast for three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and so on. Go up in threes. The reason why I say that is because the digestive system takes three days to completely alleviate itself of any waste. Mm. Meaning, I put it like put it like this because some people might be confused by that statement. When you stop eating for three days, the body has stopped the digestive process and now it's in elimination stage. Mm. Now, elimination may feel to you like hunger pain, but don't be duped. Don't be duped. It's called elimination pain. It's not called hunger pain. It's elimination pain. That food that's been in your stomach since 1989, 1995, 2001, it's going to hurt coming out. Mm. I'm just keeping it real. Like Mm -hmm. It's going to hurt coming out. So we need that time. The, The greatest length of time that I know that people have fasted for is 90 days. Mm. you're not gonna some people will not need 90 days 28 days may be suffice for most people in this world okay but 90 days is what you can go to definitely just drinking sea moss water and your bitters your iron Mm. all right now they say fast until you're healed that's what they say how long do i fast for you fast until you're healed that's it i can't tell you you will be healed within 14 days, 17 hours, and 22 minutes, and 6 seconds. I don't know when you're going to be healed. I don't know. I don't know. If there's 10 people that has diabetes, and I put everyone on the same regimen, will all 10 be healed exactly at the same time? Of course not. Thank you, bro. Because they're all individuals. They're all going to be at a different state of health. This is why I think it's ridiculous to think that you can give some one size fits all schmack shreen to people and it's just going to work the same on everybody. Like, like everybody's health should be customized to them. Like, you know what I mean? Like you and I can eat the same shit every day, blah, 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 blah. But you might be doing more exercise than I do. You might be out in the sun more. Like there's little variations that will cause different results. You see what I'm saying? Even though we're, it seems that we're doing the same fucking thing. You know what I mean? Definitely. So again, it important. might your shit because you're doing more exercise and you're outside more. You might get the results you know, let's say three days quicker than I get the results or some shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like so that's what we got to look at. The sun. Get some sun, man. Anyone out there that can get sun, please do not trap yourself in a in a cube. In and a that's building. what they want. They want it to where you don't even go out. You ain't got to go outside for nothing. You ain't got to go outside to get your food, nothing. Like, everything is just stay in the crib. Don't you ain't got to go to the movies no more, nothing. <laughs> Imagine this, though. When a plant doesn't get no sun, it dies, period. And you are no different. Remember that there's a, a plant's DNA and a human being's DNA has more similarities than anything on the planet. In fact, a mushroom has more in common with you and me than any other plant in the world. Mm. Well, think about that. Like, what, what, what do we feel about mushrooms, eating mushrooms? Because some people say that mushrooms are not good. Okay. Okay, there's good mushrooms and bad mushrooms yes is that what you're gonna say yes definitely correct. tell us the good ones the good mushrooms are, are i can name a few um we mm-hmm. have the uh oyster mushrooms okay in in fact in fact i can even do you one better i have a page what is it page 20 in my new book there we go edible mushrooms all edible all edible mushrooms right there. We have the morel, we have the lion's mane, chicken of the woods, hen of the woods, turkey tail, 
lobster. All of these mushrooms are your meat replacements. That's the reason why mushrooms have no taste because Mother Nature intended for you to give it the taste that you require. Mm. Whatever you enjoy seasoning wise, you season your mushrooms in the way that you enjoy. Instead of seasoning a, a goat and a lamb, you know, and a baby chicken or whatever, season your mushrooms in the same way, in the mm. same manner and eat them, bake them if you want even. So like you said, there are good mushrooms and there are bad mushrooms. Now the psychedelic mushrooms is a whole nother thing. Now I don't recommend anyone taking psychedelic mushrooms if you are not, if you have not surrendered to life. Mm. If you have not surrendered to your thoughts, if you not have surrendered, you cannot take mushrooms. Because mm -hmm. if you have surrendered, things are going to surface that you're not going to be happy seeing. Mm. And the scariest place in this world for human beings is in their own mind. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Scary, bro. Scary. Mm. What? scary bro that's the reason why there's a lot of people that don't want to be alone and they just party all day and they want to be at people's houses all day and they just want to escape their own mind it's the mind they're trying to escape they're not trying to escape their house they're trying to escape their mind when they're alone their mind is all they're with facts they don't want to hear their mind you have to surrender their mind might be telling them some shit they don't want to hear surrendering man it's, it's it's not easy but you have to you have to surrender to life so if you do do that then you feel like psychedelic mushrooms is okay yeah yeah that shit will make you happy mm -hmm. it will mm -hmm. make you happy it will reveal yeah, you like it just make if i had to put it in the most layman term possible mushrooms make you happy when you surrender to life right don't it will make you sad and depressed when you have a bad trip as they as they say right so surrender and you'll be all right i can't teach you how to surrender by the way i don't know i don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know nothing about that you know right it's the individual thing facts you know? facts well man this has been this has been great fascinating Oh, shout out Maestro Fresh West. What's up, brother? So keep up Thank the good you, work, man. Thank you, bro, appreciate um, it. Um, yeah, man. Uh, we gotta bring you back another time, man. Cause this is like I feel like we gotta kind of digest and 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 download a lot of this information today and then maybe come back maybe with some other questions or definitely once I get the book. That's what I do. Once we get the book, yeah. Once I receive the book, yeah. um, I think we need to bring you back. Yeah. And we'll go over some things that I may have learned from the book and some things that we need to uh, share with the people. What's the conversion rate real quick? Because I know you're in London and I don't really understand how the money works. And um, so I think the book was how much does that convert to U.S. dollars? Because to be to be. Let me see. Um, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna show you what I do because I don't really know. Because everyone orders from different parts of the planet, so if you make an order from Canada, mm -hmm. it might be a bit more expensive for you than someone who's ordered from New York. I don't know. So right. what I tell people to do is this: you go into Google, yeah, most people's best friend. Mm -hmm. Go there. You type in the amount. So let's say twenty-five pounds to dollars. And then as soon as you click search, it should tell you exactly what the conversion rate the is. Conversion is, yeah. So look, so that's it there. Look, twenty-five dollars is thirty-two point seven. Twenty-five pounds is thirty-two. Twenty-five pounds, sorry, yeah. Twenty-five pounds is thirty-two point seven six. So that's what it is today. Right now, the book is on sale for £25. The, the original price of this, the book is uh, £50. So if anybody wants to get it for £25, you need to get it before Monday, before it goes back to its original price. Well, I got it for £25. Excellent. Excellent. So you got, you, you're good. You're good. I'm good. So I spent about 30 some dollars, you're saying. 
including postage. Including right, right. Postage. Yeah, you can't beat that. Listen, I'm not crying. I just want, you know. Right. Make yeah. sure it don't say 25 pounds and then you get it home and it's $3,000. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, right though, man. Whoa, what in the... But uh, yeah, so that's what's up, y'all. I encourage y'all. Oh, there goes my boy, Truly Zambian. This is my man I told you about earlier from London. Zambian. He said yes. one pound oh. equals $1.31. Excellent. That's see the conversion there? rate. Right. Oh, and I see a bunch of people putting conversion rates up right now. Thank you. Look at this helpful ass chat room. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you, people. What up, Truly Zambian? See, we got somebody from over your way. Check him out. Go buy his book. Link in the description right now for, uh, man, for all his products, his books, his- uh, Remember, I gave, you, I gave you all a discount code as well, Abundance. Abundance, okay. yes. I, I'm going to put it in the description after. I couldn't put it in right now because we're too far into the show. That's okay. But once we, uh, once we shut this down, I'm going to put it in the description and I'm going to keep this, this live up. Because a lot of times I'll take them down, chop it up. But I'm going to keep this up and maybe still do some chop ups. But I'm going to keep this up for a while. Yeah. Um, they said too many issues. Said y'all covered everything I wanted to know and still going in. Salute. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you, man. But I think we're yeah, about enough. to wrap it up. Unless you got more. What else you got for us? <laughs> I, I, I just want to say your best is enough, man. Your best is enough. Mm. That's all I have to say because I, when sometimes when I listen to myself, I'm like, shit, that's scary, man. Like, that sounds like someone listening to if I'm listening to myself and I'm like, whoa, that's some heavy shit right there. Like, I can only imagine what someone is thinking that has no clue about alkalinity, Doctor Sabi, electric food. It must be scary. But again. Take your time. Not, Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, your best is all you can give. It's enough. Do your best with what you know. Do your best with what you have. Don't kill yourself trying to be healthy. Don't kill yourself trying to be healthy. Do your best with what you know and have. Do you have a, a YouTube channel? Yes. YouTube channel is the name of my business. Eat to live, not to die. There y'all go, y'all. Eat to, to live, live, not, to, not live. to die is the YouTube channel. And shout out to everybody out there that's teaching Dr. Sabi's um, knowledge and everyone who's making an effort, you know. It's very important, you know, that we, we really, really try to get our health on track because that man, Dr. Sabi, right there, legend. Yeah, he was... He was just, uh, he was sent to us and we have to use his information to better ourselves. We can't let that man's work die. That's why I go hard. Some people ask me, are you Dr. Sabi's son or something? No, I'm not <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just a man that, that values his information so much that I'm willing to risk my life to helping humanity because it's not about me. What I do is bigger than me. It, it, it eclipses me. It's about everyone as a collective. Do you understand? Because one day, my son may marry your daughter. Your daughter may marry my son. We want healthy children coming into this world. We don't want sick children coming, in, coming into the world. We want our children to be healthy and happy. Because... A, a, a healthy and happy life produces healthy, healthy and happy children, you know? So bear that in mind and do your best for the children, man. Peace Purveyor says, does Dr. Sabi allow me to eat plantains? No, plantains have too much starch. Banana, baby all of that. Bananas, the baby bananas. Or the, the baby bananas. bananas. Yeah, the baby bananas or the bloggo bananas. Do you see them here? Can you see it? He's yes, bananas mm -hmm. right in the corner. Yes, this, this book is very helpful as well. I forgot to show you. It's called the um, Alkaline Nutritional Guide. This is something that can fit in your pocket. Mm. This has all the alkaline fruits and vegetables that we should be eating. Mm. Okay, all of them, all of them. There's a digital version. Actually, no, there isn't a digital version. I lie. 
there's just a physical version at the moment, but there will be a digital version available soon. So okay. that's a very good book to have in your inventory. And for the children, what I've done is I've created an alphabet, um, a number book. So when the children are learning their A's, A, A, B, C's, they can be learning G is for grapes. Mm. They could be learning, um, let's see what else we've got in here. E for elderberries. Mm. You know, F for yes. fennel. So these things are helpful in you know giving the children the information in ways that they learn 22 blueberries wow that's dope so the children that's my that's really my main focus young people and children because in 20 years a 10 year old is 30 it's crazy right like think about that like it's not a long time it's not a long time so if we can get the children, the young people, we'll be we'll be back on our feet in no time, man. We'll be breaking world records, doing marvelous, wonderful, brilliant things in the world. Not that we're not doing that already, but we're just going to be doing it on a much healthier scale. And when you do things healthy, it feels better. You know, it just feels better. Shout out to King Vulture. He said, "How to fix microbiome." microbiome i don't know well, what that your micro your microbiome and this is something that I, I i always have to um say we always talk about how do we fix this that and the third but we don't talk about how we got to this that and the third so it's more important how you got into that position because I can give you why, definitely. I'm going to give you why right now. I don't even know what microbiome is, so please educate me. So inside of the body, there are, there are many microbes, many small things that make up who we are. And doctors give it these, you know, big names, microbiome and, you know, um, stem cells and all these. This, there's all kinds of names for these things, but... Mother Nature never complicates anything, Jamal. Never. Nature's easy. Nature's simple. So if you want to cure that, if you want to increase whatever is lacking, because everything in your body is the lack of. Any disease you have is the lack of. The lack of calcium, osteoporosis. The lack of iron, sickle cell anemia, mm. hyper Glycemia, thalassemia, general anemia, diabetes, the lack of zinc, prostate problems, uterus problems, the lack of sulfur, asthma, lung problems. Mm. Do you see? So every disease is the lack of. So in, to increase your microbiome, you need to increase your CMOS and bladder rec. You need to increase on your um, your iron, your iron herbs. You need to increase on every mineral that is natural that we can find in the periodic table. Once you start increasing all the minerals, not just, oh, I'm focusing on my kidneys. Econ, how can I take care of my kidneys? Oh, I, my liver's got a problem. How do I take care of the liver? You can never take care of one without taking care of all. It's impossible. Period. Period. Well, I had an idiot once. This dude, he was, he claimed to be God. <laughs> anyway, man, <laughs> he talking about, nah, I know my body. Like, I, I have to eat meat. Like, some people have to eat meat. Like, like, um, you know, so I'm not built that way, basically. And I'm like, man, you just telling yourself a motherfucking story. Like, you're not made to eat meat. Like, shut the fuck up. And like, you know, the nigga tried to act like he was so fucking smart. I was like, you stupid as a motherfucker, man. Shut the fuck up. Like, if, if meat went, if, meat went, if meat went, the only reason why most people want to eat meat is because meat is there. Most people that eat meat, if the meat wasn't there, oh, you, thank you, Matulu. You you wouldn't you wouldn't eat it. It's available. It's what. It's the only thing available. Look, 
it, where I stay, right, on one road where I stay, there's seven chicken shops. I think, no, nine now. On one road, mm. nine chicken shops, chicken and chips. Nine chicken shops on one road, bro. Mm. That's all that is available. So most people, I guarantee you, if the whole world was, if we all started off alkaline, it would be the other way around. Most people will be alkaline and a few minority of people will be eating meat. It's because what is available and they teach you about protein. You can't talk to an elephant about protein. You can't talk to a silverback gorilla about protein. You can't talk to an ox about protein. You can't talk to a rhino about protein. You can't talk to a giraffe or a zebra or a turtle about protein. And all these animals eat greens, fruits. They're vegetarians. So what about the protein? Why, why aren't they suffering from the lack of protein? Think. See, I started thinking about starch and just how much starch is in fucking everything that they want us to eat. Like, like. The chicken, okay, You let's say something like a chicken parmesan, right? You got chicken yeah. dipped in a breading right. with cheese on it. Right. That's now it wrapped in more bread. Crazy. <laughs> and, you know, like, and don't forget, they fed the chicken starch. Right. <sighs> right, Crazy. they fed the chicken corn and shit like that. Exactly. They fed the chicken starch. Wow crazy and then and so so what we know as tumors and cancer and shit like that is basically a buildup of starch yes? yes and 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 they know this you know how they know i tell you if you go on the internet right now and type in the inside of a tumor the inside of a fibroid the inside of a spot you know when you burst a spot what comes out some white pus right that's called calcium carbonate. That's the that's the residual of starch. Mm. So we know what that is. But a lot of people, again, discipline, denial, religion, mama said, daddy said, Google said, the book said. Some people, I just love it. You know, this is what it is. This, this mm. is what it is, man. This is exactly what it is. And I wanted to say one thing, one more thing about fasting that most people don't know. When an animal in nature is sick, right? A wild animal. And don't, please understand, animals do get hurt and they do get sick. Mm -hmm. When an animal is hurt or sick in nature, they don't have a vet or someone to take them to a vet or anything like that, right? So what do they do? They fast. Yes, yes. And I've seen it firsthand. When one of my dogs got sick at one point, um, my fuck actually caught Lyme disease, ended up dying. But when he first started getting sick, he lost he was losing his appetite. Like he was moving away from the food. That was one of the first signs of it, that he wasn't eating the way that he was before. Same thing with us. You lose your appetite when you get sick. Mm. You don't want to eat. But what happens, unfortunately, what does mom say? Feed a cold and starve <laughs> a fever or some shit like that, right? You're right. You know, they try to get, they try to pu like push the food in you even though the body is rejecting it. It's, right. it's saying no. That chicken soup. You need the chicken soup. It's not. We don't blame, though. We're not blaming you, mommy. Mom, nah, because you no, did no. the best that, with the knowledge that you had. Right, yeah, we're not blaming you, mom. We understand. But the body is saying something. Listen to it. Mm. No food. It needs to sweat it out. It needs to, you know, you need to go through something in order for you to get back to as healthy as the body can possibly get you to, you know? So fast. Right. And somebody's like, and dogs eat the grass for their stomach. I've seen that too. I've seen that. I've seen, I've that. seen the dog start yeah. eating grass. I've seen it. Settle their stomach type of shit. Like that's it. 
That's it. We can learn a lot from nature, man. They're trying to turn us into machine, bro. They're trying to fuse man with machine, bro. It's never going to work. Well, here's the thing. They want to make the abnormal normal Mm -hmm. and the normal abnormal. Exactly. (laughs) So, see, it's all about getting away from nature. See, Mm -hmm. the artificial is abnormal. Something that's artificial is abnormal. So the they want everything that's artificial and they will put it up there like it's better than nature. You know what I mean? These computers are just artificial fucking brains that can't even do a fraction of what our fucking brain can do. And yet we spending all this money on computers and shit like that. Like yeah. wow, we believe the the fact that computers can do Wi-Fi, right? where they can communicate wirelessly shows that we can do it too. We just don't know. We don't realize that we have a built-in Wi-Fi as well. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Where yes. we can communicate with each other wirelessly without speaking and all that type of shit. Yep. But we don't believe it's possible. But if computers can do it, <laughs> then we absolutely can do it. Because they're all they're doing is trying to recreate an artificial uh create artificial intelligences artificial us the mind is the real internet facts and they don't want us to log in right to the akashic mind thank you they don't the want akashic us. record they 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 want they want you to fuck yourself up so much that they are the only ones for you to run to like a savior they want you to run to them like they are your saviors so think about it like you're saying to yourself hmm i've got a i've got a problem but i'm not gonna fast i'm not gonna do nature's way i'm gonna go to the doctor and go and get this pill or my ears i can't hear properly i don't think it's anything to do with eating naturally or food i'm gonna go and get a hearing aid oh i'm so everything is about you not doing what you need to do to better yourself and you going to them to go get a pill or machine to put on yourself or in yourself. Mm. That's what it's about. That's what they're trying to turn everyone into. Serious. Very serious. Very, very serious. We don't want to put nothing in you but these good herbs... And ladies, that good douche. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And ladies, if, you're, if, you're, if, you, if you don't eat pork, but you have sex with a man that eats pork, you eat pork. Right. By osmosis. Don't lie to Especially yourself. Especially if he's nutting in you. Especially if he's nutting in you. 100 million percent. Because there's a, there's a thing called acidic yam sauce. Um, acidic... <laughs> Acidic sperm is real, for real. It's like, real, bro. <laughs> I call it yam sauce. But uh, yeah, it's acidic sperm. Yeah. Um, and a lot of y'all ladies is drinking the sperm and they're and y'all taking the sperm inside of you, and it's and and you're not dushing and you're not taking baths, and that shit is what does any acid do? It's gonna eat away at whatever uh it comes in contact with. So well, listen to listen to this madness here. A woman would be afraid of douching with a herb that came straight from nature in the fields. No one had to plant it. It grows that way. She, a woman would be a, afraid to use that and do that. But they won't be afraid to allow a man inside of her divine temple that eats McDonald's, KFC, eats pork, smokes cigarettes, eats shrimp, lobster, turkeys, yams, breads, cakes, and everything under the sun that produces acid in the body. A woman would swallow his... Like... like mm-hmm. You would swallow that and you would allow him to, early. to shoot that inside of your uterus and you would swallow it. But yet you are afraid to douche. How Make it make sense for me. Explain it, please, in the comment section. Explain why a woman is afraid of douching but happy to 
taking acidic sperm. Orally and internally. Why? How? For and what reason? For what reason? <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Because this is what they taught were taught is is good. You know what I mean? Like that's it's all about frame of reference. So this is why shows like this are important. We're giving a different frame of reference. Imagine, imagine like you could get HIV from a man spunking in you, right? You could get syphilis, you could get uh uh what's it called? Gonorrhea, you could get um, chlamydia, you could get AIDS, whatever, right? From a man having sex with you, but you're scared of douching? Which you be getting rid of all of that shit? <laughs> Which is getting rid of all of that shit. Yeah, man. They've done a um, good number on our brains, man. That's what I feel like. And again, this there's a disconnect between the older generation and the younger generation. Like, I... Not for nothing. I remember my mom's having a fucking dish. You know what I mean? Like it was sitting by the side of the fucking uh, bathtub or some shit. And you know, what's this? Like you know, leave it alone. You know. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's not some shit you see anymore. And then it's to the point where I'm telling you, a lot of these girls and women nowadays, yo, some of them never take baths. They yeah. only take showers and they believe that that's okay. Women, yeah. you must take baths. The, the water, again, the water goes inside you. Like we are the ones, as a man, we have the external, you know what I mean? So if yeah. we take showers, that's different. You know what I mean? And even still, a man probably should take a bath too. Let that shit get up your asshole or some shit. You know what I mean? Let that clean out. Um but definitely women, you have to make sure that it's getting inside you. Mm-hmm. And ain't no shower going to do that. I don't care how much you try to splash it on it. No, your shit needs to be submerged, ladies. Okay. 100%. 100%. So. 100%. And, and, you know, and you know what else? There's these types of products around, right? That women are buying. Or little sprays to try to just mask the smell. Right, right. Yeah, and, and 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 Gucci deodorants. They, they, yeah, mm-hmm. and they they also they also got some that's got gel in it, and they tell the women to squeeze it up inside of them to remove yeast infection and all these things. But that is basically a douche, an unnatural douche that they're telling you to use. Right. When you look at the ingredients of these things, they've got like antifreeze in there. Mm-hmm. Polycybertol 80. Raising agents, e-products, chemicals you can't pronounce, but yet you're scared of a douche that comes straight out from Mother Nature with one ingredient. Come on, man. Stop Think, it. think about Stop it. Stop it. Think. And men are, men are vicious. A man will have sex with you and know there's a smell and won't tell you shit. And go and have and we'll sex. talk shit about you. you later, though. He we'll gonna tell, about gonna you tell his voice yeah. how that pussy was cacking. Yeah, won't tell you nothing, nothing. <laughs> Real talk. He might, he might get a couple nuts off of it too, because he's just nasty. He's just like nasty. That. But and then he'll go back and tell, tell his boy, man, that pussy was cacking. Woo, yeah, that shit had cottage cheese all on my dick. I said, whoa, right. and it smelled like horrendous. And he'll still go in it, because and and the reason why he'll still go in it is because he doesn't respect you. Right, or his self. He don't respect you. <laughs> or his own fucking or dick. Himself. And okay. he, doesn't, he doesn't respect you because he doesn't respect himself. Right. And all he want is a goddamn nut. And if he got to fucking suffer through a little fucking garbage, garbage water smell, then goddamn it, that's what he going to do. Facts. Um, Vice versa. Don't be, don't be that, don't be that woman. Okay. So- for your man, be clean. Be clean just for yourself. Goodness gracious. Be clean, small clean. Okay. Well, listen, man, it's been great having you. It's been a pleasure. Once again, brother. Eat to Live, Not to Die is the IG. It is his uh, website. 
make sure you follow him. Make sure you go to his website. We have a link in the description. Get your iron fluorine. Definitely get your uh, books. Mine is on the way. I, I will definitely uh, be ordering more. Discount code is abundance, y'all. Yep. So if you want a discount code, the Godcast discount code is abundance, y'all. Uh, and that's what we wish for everyone here today. 100%. And I wanted to say one of, one of my favorite um, uh, songs that you did is called The Sun. And I want everybody to go listen to The Sun. Ah, yeah. I want everybody <laughs> to go listen to The Sun if you have time. Uh, listen and deep that shit. That shit is serious, brother. Thank, thank you. you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, bro. Appreciate it. Here comes The Sun. Well, yo, E Kong, my man, we definitely got to bring you back, man. Ready when you're ready. One of our resident fucking nutritionists and help, uh, you know, we just help the people, man, because that's what we're here for, man. What we here for, bro. Be one, y'all. So, uh, man, thank you again. And uh, I'm going to catch you on the next one, brother. 100. E Kong. Yeah, yeah. to live, not to die. Thank you, bro. Thank you, brother. Peace. Peace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I feel energized, man. That was great. That was a great one. I hope y'all uh, learned something. Yes, we will definitely bring him back. You need to join him next time, uh, wifey, Matulu. And I thank you for your uh, super chat. She said, thank you, Lord Jamar. You are appreciated. And you are appreciated as well. Uh, shout out to all my regulars in the house. I appreciate you. A1 Drizzy. Fucking Truly Zambian. Miss Ravioli. You know. You know the motherfucking crew. You know how we gets down. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. Click. Click that all on the notification bell. And yeah, you know, this was a special Friday edition of uh, the Godcast, Lord Jamar Live. For my people out in PA, we will be in PA tomorrow with the God Rock Him out in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So if you want to see some real hip hop shit, uh, come on through. Uh, till then. Once again, I thank my uh, guest, E. Kong from Eat to Live, Not to Die. Shout out to my co-hosts, Rod Digger, Godfrey, Artie Stidax, and I am the God, Lord Jamal. And as always, I will leave the way I came in. Peace. You're welcome, Karis Nuffman. And we out.